<gasps> Amazing! There they go! There's Shadow and her tiny little cub. So excited! They're actually heading onto Treehouse Dam and very likely they're heading off for a drink. Let's go have a look. A firm, but uh, just so that everyone's aware, there are already three vehicles in this area. All right, so she does seem to have a bit of a limp, um, but doesn't seem too bad to be quite honest. I'm sure she is on the mending way. <gasps> so exciting! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I'm so excited. No, hang on, I can't go too fast, Senzo. <laughs> All right, sorry, Senzo. Watch out here. I'm sure. I think you called it Senzo because when we came to do the GoPro you were saying oh Ingwe Ingwe so maybe you actually called the two of them. Now I'm gonna try go around because they're coming for a drink. But I'm gonna go around them. Hello beautiful girl. We shall be back in one second. All right so you were, you were wondering about Bundu bashing. This is proper Bundu bash. All right. Alrighty, there we go. Bad time. There we go. Oop. I just fell. Awesome. Look at them. So pretty. Yeah, um, taxers, myself, Mike, and another vehicle here. You can take stand by one if you're interested, or Rex. I um, don't remember, sorry, who, the, who wants to come. All right, sorry guys. Seems like there's a bit of confusion on the radio because they're not too far from where the lions are so it's kind of in the way for everyone and considering this is the only water source a lot of animals are gonna come around so luckily we can stay here for a little while considering that we actually are the ones that found them and I'm very very happy about it look at those pretty white tails hello pretty tail Beautiful. Now it seems like she got them all the way. She went to Little Gowrie to fetch the cub. That's where she left it. And then she's come all the way back. And she was actually quite quick considering that block and where we got the report and the time that she's managed to come around here. So beautiful. So beautiful. A from Abel, I've been trying to call you. <laughs> Seems like there's quite a bit of chatter on the radio. So beautiful. Um, Abel, there are three movers here. Um, you can take a standby one for now. All right, sorry. Now. All my attention is on this beautiful girl and this amazing experience that we're having with the two of them having a drink. It seems like um, there are a lot of vehicles around. It is a <laughs> long weekend in South Africa, so lots of people are around in the bush. But luckily, it seems like it's a family day for everyone involved. Hello, little one. So happy to see you. She's grown so much in this last few weeks that I haven't seen her. And there's Shadow. It does seem like she's putting some weight, so I think she is actually recovering and starting to get a little bit better, which is very, very exciting. Because obviously we don't want them to be hurt or anything. <gasps> You're becoming so big. Tad, you're saying that the cub has grown up so much. I completely agree. I think it's starting to become a young leopard and no longer a tiny little cub, as they say. So clearly they're going behind us. Hello, beautiful things. Where, oh, where are they going? All right, let's just, I just want to see where they're going. Because obviously I don't want to move around and then just get on them. I want to 
gonna try and get out of here now. All right. They are mobile now, heading north from Trios Mati. Alrighty. Let's follow them around for a little bit longer. How fantastic! I'm so happy to see them. And like I said, I think she's she's morphing now. She's no longer a tiny little leopard cub. I think she's just now starting to become a young leopard. Because she's grown up quite a bit. And her body just doesn't seem the body of a tiny little leopard anymore, don't you think so? Very pretty. There they go. Let's just go. Where are you going? Richard, you're wondering how old Shadow's cub is. So, oof, I'm actually not 100% sure. I think she was born some, run about either January or February, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's probably the time, because I remember we saw her in Easter, or Easter Sunday, and she was quite tiny. All right. Ooh. This is gonna be a tough one. Tenzo, we can do this, right? All right. This is the easiest way in. There we go. All right, it seems like everyone's left us now that they've gone into the thickets. Woohoo! So we get more time with them. Hello, beautiful girls. And again, at this time of the year, I think it's when you can really appreciate that camouflage of the leopards. I mean, look at them walking in front of us and they're virtually invisible, particularly the cub. If you see the way that it's walking around, you can just see nothing, pretty much. I know where to look for, but imagine just how easy it would be just to miss them, especially now that she's gone behind there. So very beautiful, solitary creatures, very hard to spot them. Now, Shadow, watch where you're going, because I don't think those lions are too far away from here. We were wondering this morning, actually, funny enough, if she had a kill somewhere. All right, seems like it's an old rounder cat day for all of us. And while we try to figure out where these two beautiful girls are going, because it seems like they're going to be heading into an area that's a bit more difficult to follow through, let's head over to Taylor, who's also managed to find some beautiful cats.